Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for tuning in. I just want to go ahead and thank you all for being here. I really appreciate every single one of you. Now, when I last left off, we were right around this black line on April 7th, around 11 noon, somewhere in there. I can't remember what time I did the video. Since then, we've seen a little ascending triangle form. Now, there is... Uh, one thing that I am seeing uh, that's sticking out, uh, and and this is there. There's actually three things. Uh, the first thing, uh, yesterday I was talking about this, uh, speculating that we could be seeing uh, the halfway point of a potential uh, head and shoulders or a corrective impulse or a corrective wave. Uh, and that's basically all head and shoulders pattern is, is a corrective wave followed by an impulse wave. So we kind of have that going. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that this is the bottom primarily because usually when you see heavy sell-offs like this, and you might see an ascending triangle form like it did here, a lot of times, if the trend is going to continue, we will see the ascending triangle fail and head downwards. So that is kind of nice to see that uh, we actually extended from the uh, ascending triangle. Now let's go ahead and play devil's advocate uh, and say that this is a false or a bull trap, which it very well could be. Um, the one thing I am looking for right now is Elliott Wave Theory, and this is kind of this tipping point. You can see we're selling off a little bit. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if this support level here failed and, and we take a ride from, uh, you know, 4.4 to 5. And let's do a little Fibonacci to kind of get some price points in mind if that happens. Bear with me one second, folks. I haven't had my coffee and I'm drawing Fibonacci retracements the wrong way already. <laughs> okay. So you can see here we didn't quite reach the 61.8 level on that last drop. However, I wouldn't be surprised if this fails and we come to rest on the 0.029 level and drop into some sort of uh, descending triangle or wedge pattern, we may be in for a ride uh, to at least 0.025 or lower. Uh, but like I said, uh, I'm, I'm starting to be bullish on this right now because we have two ascending triangles forming. I'm thinking this third one, if it goes positive, will at least bump us up uh, to this 38.2 level. Let's get rid of all this and see if this is truly the bottom right at this moment in time. We may see this thing come up and bounce off this 50 and retrace back to form the shoulder or we may see this thing come back up and touch the 61.8 level, uh, maybe retrace like it did did here. Uh, I would hate to see this thing come up and touch the 61.8 and then head back down to the 30 cent range, uh, but it's definitely possible. Keep your eyes on the 3.5 cent to the 0.037 cent for a potential retracement. Uh, if this is in fact panning out to be an inverse head and shoulders like i said this is basically a corrective wave and all the head and shoulders is a corrective wave and an impulse wave like this right here that's an impulse wave so we might see something like this happen and and I'm hoping this is what happens because I want to see this retest of this four and a half cent level. Uh, let's run a little Fibonacci time zone to see when we might be able to, keyword is might folks. Uh, this is all just wild speculation. That's all it is. Uh, 
using scientific tools. Let's go ahead and see if maybe we can time uh, where the retest might take place. April 14th ish. Wouldn't be surprised if if that happened. This is uh, about an equal distance, um, you know, from zero to one to one to two uh, on the Fibonacci time zone. So we could end up seeing uh, maybe something happen around April 10th. Uh, we we might see another reversal or another high or a pivot point, uh, and then uh, furthermore. Um, that April 14th would be awesome to see a retest of four and a half cents. This is wild speculation, not trading advice at all. I want to make that very clear with all these videos. So there you have it, folks. Um, things to look out for. Uh, right now, we need some confirmation uh, that this is going to be, in fact, another shoulder and not a continuation of Elliott Wave Theory. Uh, you can see in previous instances where Ichimoku cloud trading conversion line crosses the baseline under the cloud, but above the 200, we are under the 200. Uh, we, we can definitely see uh, how this thing trended upwards. Uh, hopefully that's the same. Uh, hopefully that's the same thing that happens here uh, Ichimoku cloud trading is telling us still that we are in a bearish trend because the clouds are trending downwards. However, I'm seeing a little glimpse of green, which has me optimistic. Uh, ideally, I would like to see uh, upward trending clouds uh, to trade with the trend. And I would like to see on a larger chart like the six hour chart, bear with me. I would like to see this conversion line come up and cross the baseline above the cloud. I mean, just looking at the six hour chart, uh, we are still fairly oversold at 46. And the MACD, uh, you can see the, the massive sell off that just happened. And now we're starting to maybe come up and cross. Uh, that's, that's, that's a great. Uh, thing to see. So CKB, there it is in a nutshell on April 8th. Uh, depending on what things do here, uh, within the next four or five, six hours, I may not update till tomorrow, <clears throat> but I want to see a, a definite clear trend um, happen uh, from this point on. Uh, I would like to ideally see this trend line broken through. Uh, so <clears throat> that that would be nice because uh, uh, one other thing I guess we could do here is just run a little Fibonacci channel to see if we're hung up on any uh, Fibonacci channels. And it looks like it is. Looks like we are hung up right here. Uh, let's just take a look and verify this channel and placement. I'm liking how the price action is kind of bouncing around uh, in between these channels. Uh, so that, that tells me that I am comfortable with uh, the way this channel is placed. Uh, we are definitely at a resistance point here. One thing to note, folks, uh, as when you find a channel like this, as price action increases into the channel and as long as we can stay trading within this channel uh, it, it becomes easier for the coin in an upward trend to or stock to break to these uh, you know these important ratios 618 50 percent 100 percent as you can see let's measure from the potential start of this channel uh, you can definitely see how hard this thing had to work to reach up to this hundred percent line now look at this if we place the same line here 
uh, we can definitely tell uh, that uh, you know it's going to take a lot less effort. Uh, you can see this horizontal line I placed, so it's going to take a lot less effort to to reach that point. And I'm, like I was mentioning yesterday, um, usually you know a, a a good ratio to to base your trading off of is uh, you know the one six one eight and the the five. And let's just do this one more time. I know I did this yesterday. That's right. And interestingly enough, look at this. Uh, so this this uh, horizontal line here cuts through the whole chart, but then we have a clear intersection of this horizontal line, Fibonacci time zone, and uh, the 618 level. This is this is huge. I'm telling you, uh, this right here, April 14th, we may end up seeing a new uh, retest of this four and a half cent level. I sure hope so, folks. I mean, I I just uh, you know if this fails again and we double top, uh, we'll definitely see. An, another retracement absolutely and, and it could uh you know be back down to the 30 you know three and a half cent level uh, and it may need to triple top this uh as you can see if this does happen uh, we are looking out towards the end of april and if we ended up triple topping meaning that uh you know this thing came up and tried again and failed you know we may see a, a little ascending triangle or something form here. Essentially, that is what the bigger picture is for CKB at this moment. Uh, we can definitely see the potential uh, for a humongo ascending triangle. Um, and if we get to here and this all pans out like this, uh, we have a huge base that we will launch off of, and in, in, in my opinion, uh, we will definitely uh, see some higher price tags in the months to come after that. There you have it, folks. This is my wild speculative theory on uh, CKB. I'm sorry this ran a little long. I'm trying to get better at condensing these things, and this is one of the reasons why I'm kind of getting away from the whole TikTok TA uh, because many of you are here from my TikTok channel, which was amazing. We grew over 4,000 followers in a matter of like a month and a half. Uh, so I was very thankful for that and I've got a lot of support there. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below about CKB. What prices do you think we're gonna see towards the end of summer this fall? And uh, if you enjoyed this TA, I sure hope you did. Uh, feel free to smash that like and subscribe button. Uh, hit the bell if you want to get notified with some of this stuff, especially if you're following CKB fairly close. One of these updates could make or break you or help you make a decision. Um, so I hope uh, you, everyone has a great day. Thanks again for watching, and we'll talk to you later.